guys and welcome to another video so kamusta kayo welcome back to another vlog i just want to vlog something today kasi i discovered a product that will actually help a lot of content creators there <laughs> i recommend to si boss angie so and i realized ko rin, i've been doing this youtube thing for almost a year i started doing youtube full time january of last year so next month will be the mark of what well, one year one year of youtube i mean full time youtube that's what i mean so uh sa mga of course i'm pretty sure some people here watching are actually uh, planning to do the same thing or mga maka may mga nanonood dito fellow youtubers ko na tropa na of course we need cameras and camera gears to produce videos so may na discover lang akong product and i want to share it to you baka makatulong sa inyo to so, I'm gonna show you my camera gear and what I use for this vlogs and what I use on a daily basis. So, pakita ko sa inyo, right? So, here it is. Ito ang mga camera gear setup ko na ginagamit ko for everyday use for vlogging. I started out with my Osmo Action. This is an Osmo Action. It's actually a 4K action camera with sobrang gandang stabilization. This is what I used when I started to do YouTube back in 2019 then nag full time ako no nag full time ako I transferred to a Sony A7C okay this is a mirrorless camera one of the alpha series na camera na maganda this is actually fitted with a Zeiss Sony Zeiss so yan Zeiss or Zeiss with a 16 to 35 mm na lens wide angle lens okay so, lahat ng ito ay available kay Gadget Master. I also got the Manfrotto stand from Gadget Master. So, plug ko muna yung tropa kong yun. And then, the product that I want to discuss with you guys is the Ulanzi products. Okay? This is not sponsored. Okay? I actually just want to plug it to them, to you guys. Kasi, na-discover ko lang to kay Boss Angie. Ginagamit to ni Boss Angie. The Ulanzi products are actually really good. Bakit? As a content creator, you're actually using multiple cameras like this. I'm using my iPhone right here. And I'm using action camera. I'm using a mirrorless camera. So, swapping between a gimbal, a tripod, and the suction cup, and the small tripod, it's going to be a pain in the ass. So, if you're starting off YouTube, or if you are actually a YouTuber now, and you're ha you have problems with, you know, multiple camera setups, check it out. Madami na namang review nito, pero wala pa nagre-review nito sa Philippine market. So, this is actually the Ulanzi Claw. Ito yan. Ulanzi? Ulanzi? I don't know. So, ito yung produktong yan. This is a Ulanzi Claw. It's basically a quick release mechanism. So, yan yung ating uh, product na papakita natin sa inyo. Nakakabit na yan dito sa dalawang ito. I bought several, if you may see. So, for example, itong action camera ko, nasa suction cup ko na layout, I can just, you know, squeeze this up, remove it, and I can actually transfer my mirrorless camera. I can just squeeze it up, and I'm going to remove this real quick before I drop it. <laughs> so, ito na, yung action, ito na yung action camera ko, tanggal. Ito naman yung aking mirrorless camera, tanggal. And I can just, you know, put it there, lock it in place, put it there, lock it in place. So, it may not be for content creators lang pala. Sa mga nagmi-media din, this is actually really, really good. And it's actually well-built. Well okay? This is not sponsored, ah. Ulitin ko. Not sponsored. So, anyway, that being said, yan yung Yulanzi na quick release. The claw. Let's quickly return my setup muna. Kasi I don't wanna, you know, I want to show you something pa. Wow. So, quick release. Chook. Quick release. Chook. Lock. And lock. So imagine kung nasa kochi ako, di ba? I can just use this, swap, swap, swap. So if you're a content creator, this is really good. So we have the several boxes here. We have the U100. This is the ball head na yan. This is actually well built. The precision on this is actually really good. For its price, it's actually... Well, hindi naman siya sobrang wow. Pero for the price, it's actually really good for its price. Mura lang. Nasa 1K lang ata itong ball head na to. Tapos, they also have replacement parts for the DJI Ronin kung meron kang Ronin RSC2 they can replace it with the quick claw system I'll install this soon and then we have this ang dami niyang yan mo ang dami niyang maliliit na bagay na maganda 
This is a, actually is a cold shoe extension mount. So, ito yung ginagamit ko ngayon sa aking uh, A7C. As you can see, I bought several. Okay, I even bought an extra. So, if you're a content creator and you're looking for gear or make your life easier with your gear, the Ulanzi products are actually really good. And I highly recommend it. May isa pa papakita. I'm actually using the iPhone right now. Switch ako sa camera ngayon right now. Alright. Now, I'm in my Sony A7C. So, ito naman yung setup ko kanina. I'm actually using another Ulanzi. Uh, Ulanzi? Ulanzi. I'm, I'm using another Ulanzi uh, octopus type grip thingy. <laughs> What's good about this one is it's actually a... Ang maganda dito sa thing na ito, it's not actually a phone holder lang. As you can see, meron siyang quarter inch screw bolt there. So, can actually be a action camera mount for you. Okay, if you want to put your action camera, pwede siyang quarter inch with this thing. And then if I wanna whip it, whip my phone out and gusto ko mag-vlog with the iPhone, it's just that fast. And it's actually quite light. So, I don't know if you I was actually far away from the microphone. So anyway, that is my camera gear. I just want to plug in the Because I think yung pala kay Boss Angie. Boss Angie recommended these products for, for, to me. And actually worked well. So we're going to use that today. After this introduction of the parts, ko, we're going to go to Toyota, Kalamba. We're going to check a car. You know what it is. So let's talk about that ngayon. Let's actually set up. We're going to go with the Camry. And let's go to Toyota Kalamba. Pag-usapan natin yung mga yan later. What is up, guys? So, we are in our Toyota Camry. And, yeah, we're just testing out new gear. I got new gear from my cameras kasi nung nag -ano tayo, nag-bagyo trip tayo, nahihirapan ako kasi papalit-palit ako sa suction cup ko ngayon. Yan, ginagamit ko yung bago ko suction cup. Isa rin yun, masyadong shaky yung suction cup ko dati. I changed to a suction cup na medyo industrial looking and heavier so it actually will hold the camera better and then I was switching to that and this papalit-palit ako sa travels ko nun so nahirapan ako that's why the Ulanzi Claws actually a very very good buy for me thank you boss Angie for recommending the product to me we are not sponsored by those companies nakita lang talaga namin we're like holy shit that's actually really nice we're going we're, we will be able to use these products a lot kasi content creators tayo and I will travel a lot with this kasi nga, I want to do travel vlogs with the cars na ginagawa namin to show people na reliable ang air suspension. It's going to be a project. It's a personal project for me to prove sa inyo na maganda ang air sus for daily use. Okay? So ngayon, punta tayo sa Toyota Kalamba. Toyota Kalamba. Okay? Kasi meron doon kotse na gusto ko silipin and wag na natin paligoy-loy pa. We're going to check out the Toyota Supra. This time, it's color black. May lumabas na bagong post, old stock daw siya na Toyota Supra, 2019 model, na kulay black. So, ang problema kasi sa mga ahente, pag nag-post sila, hindi mo sure kung yun talaga yung stock on hand pag ahente eh. So, tininang ko, chinek ko kasi dati, nagtanong ako kulay dilaw, ang available daw nila puti, eh, uh, gray. Nagtanong ako ng puti, available daw nila yung blue. So, nalilito ako, sabi ko, ano ba talaga meron? This time, I asked this guy again, person, Tinanong ko, anong stock yan? Yan ba talaga ay black? Or iba ang stock nyo? Sir, sabi niya, black po talaga to sir. Sabi ko, patingin nga ng mga picture. And lo and behold, black talaga siya. So, I really want to do the Jin Supra kasi. Yung black na Supra na nakabag, na naka-workmeister S1, forged carbon. Yun ang gusto kong gayahing Supra na sobrang idol ko ngayon. Check it out. Ito yung video by, I don't know what who made. Uh, no? I'll just put a, uh, put their uh, YouTube channel para hindi ako makapiright pero holy shit that 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 Supra is so sexy talaga black Supra all polished silver and polished lip tapos forged carbon all the way tang inang ganda aim game build hindi ako nagkakamali sobrang ganda and yun yung gusto kong bilhin yun yung gusto kong parang gayahin or doon ako magbe based off sa style ko and the fact na merong black doon kahit old model disclaimer it's a 2019 model so, old stock siya na new car, brand new car. Who knows? Pero usually kasi pag hindi mabentang ganyang unit, ito yung mga ginagamit nila for test drives. For me kasi, tang ina, this is a dream car or one of my dream cars. And if I'm going to buy it, babarating ko yung kaya kong baratin. Titipirin ko sarili ko sa titipirin ko. Kasi hindi ako mayaman. 
hindi ako mayaman. Sakto lang kaya ko. I can just earn money to get what I want right now and I can't, hindi ako pwedeng maarte. Yun yung point ko. I can't, hindi ako pwedeng maging maarte. So, let's see. Uh, malay nyo, maganda naman yung kotse kahit lumang stock. Alam mo hindi pa nagamit talaga. Tingnan natin yung mileage sa odometer. Who knows? Baka hindi pa talaga nagagamit. Tsaka yung mga ibang unit kasi pag hindi pa nagagamit talaga, naka-transport mode siya. Ibig sabihin, it will not register odometers. It can only be used to transport the car sa showroom. Merong ganun feature ang Supra. Transport mode. Thank you kay Kuya Ryan Tan for telling me that kasi siya yung nag-guide sa akin sa Toyota Supra before. So, that being said, let's go to Toyota Calamba and let's try to get that car. Let, let's try to see that car and let's see kung talagang worth siyang bilhin. Okay? Then, after ng video ito, we're going to talk about the Lexus kasi I really want to sell that car na so I can get this one. If you guys can help me on that, mami natin pag-usapan yun. See you guys in a bit. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. We saw the car a while ago. And, damn, malinis yung kotse. Old unit siya, pero malinis yung kotse, brothers and sisters. So, hindi siya nakabilad. Yun yung maganda sa kanya. It's basically ganito, explain ko sa inyo ha. 2019 model siya, pero new. New, brand new na auto. Old stock, new car. 2019 pa yung nakasulat, pero uh, yun nga, uh, ang tawag dito, uh, hindi siya na nabentang unit. Pero for this one, sinay ko siya maayos. Kahit nakatambak siya na matagal, granted, may mga konting scuff siya kasi nililinis. Pero for that price, binigyan nila ako ng magandang discount. Hindi ko muna di-disclose yung discount kasi hindi ko pa naman kinukuha yung kotse. Saka ako na di-disclose yun. Pero binigyan nila ako ng malaking-malaking discount para lang ma-out yung kotse. And I was like, damn, dude, I want to get that car. Malinis naman yung kotse eh, for me. For my standards, okay na siya. For that discount din. For that amount of discount, and that amount of, and that condition, okay na ako sa kanya. So, uh, yun ang nangyari. Ito yung, picture, ito yung video ng kotse. Okay naman siya. As you can see, sariwa naman. Magabuk lang, pero sinilip ko na yan. Trust me, I checked. So, papakita ko na lang dito sa camera habang nagsasalita ako na yun nga, may mga konting scuff siya, I'll show you, pero for that price, you're basically buying a brand new car kahit, pero second hand price, holy shit, di ba? Yun yung, yun yung masasabi ko, second hand price, brand new car, and I'm not, hindi naman ako maselan tao, hindi naman ako masobrang yaman na tao para maging maarte, okay na ako doon. Bottom line, I'm good with that car, it's black, it's, oh, shit! Okay, so ngayon, what we, can, what we need to do is we need to sell the Lexus. Hindi ko kasi kayang mag-abono ng ganong kalaking pera para lang makapag-down doon sa kanong kotse. Pero this is one of my dream cars. And if I'm going to do this, it's gonna be a very fulfilling, fulfilling thing for me. And I really want to, you know, I really wanna, you know, get it for myself na rin. Reward! This year has been terrible for me. I mean, not ter really terrible. This year has been really difficult for me and I just would want to, you know, I just would want to reward myself naman. Para naman, I know what I'm doing here. It's not too much to ask for myself naman. So, anyway, we're going back home. Grabe. Kamusta naman yung gears natin? Stable ba yung ating camera? I can see you're not moving. So, I think it's pretty stable naman so far. Uh, mga konting bumps na ganun. I'll review the footage later. Pero uh, so far, so good, I think. So, anyway, is it is it not too close to my face? Kasi literal, Ang lapit ng camera sa mukha ko. I'm going to actually going to take a video for that. So, video ako, selfie ako. So, ito yung itsura ko. Gantong kalapit yung camera sa mukha ko. Like, holy fucking shit. Ganyang kalapit siya. Like, kung susukatin natin, isang, isang di pa lang siya sa mukha ko. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, let's go home. Let's, let's talk later. And then, uh, Grabe, that car. Will it age properly? I don't know. I don't think the Supra will age well. Honestly, sorry. Pero, regardless, it's a fucking nice car. Especially for stands. It actually looks really good. I actually would want to, you know, 
bag it immediately. <laughs> so anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Ang haba na siguro nito. It's probably past 10 minutes. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for coming along. And, you know, checking out the car with me. Yun lang naman ang gusto kong dalin kayo dito. Tsaka, I just want to test my gears. My camera gears are actually really, really well set up right now. I think I'm ready for another baggy trip. I think it's gonna be fun. So, I'll show you the wonderful sunset. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. It's, Cal from, it's been Cal from Fitment Engineering. And you're watching Fitment TV. See you. Bye. Let's get that car. <laughs>